Metopic synostosis is probably the second most common form of craniosynostosis. It involves a fusion of the metopic suture right here down the middle of the forehead. That compresses the frontal lobes, brings the eyes closer together, and you can see if we compare that to a normal skull just how narrow and tight things can be up front. At Helen DeVos Children's we have two different surgical approaches for metopic synostosis also predicated on the age of the patient and uh, when they present with their diagnosis. Our preference is to offer a less invasive operation that preserves all of the normal growth plates in the child's skull to capture that potential growth into the future. That directed growth uh, operation involves removing and reconstructing the forehead but protecting all of the other sutures. After the forehead and the orbits are reconstructed, we can manipulate the normal sagittal suture to drive the brain growth forward and backward and expand the forehead over time. Uh, that allows us to use the natural brain growth left uh, to come to give us a great shape long term. And frankly, long term, those results are much more stable, more round, normal appearance for the child. The more traditional approach for management of metopic synostosis is a, a cranial vault remodeling. Some people call that a CVR as an acronym. That involves removing the forehead and the side bones of the skull to expand the front shape and reconstruct the forehead as one larger operation. That tends to violate some of the normal growth places and does not benefit from the future growth of the, uh, of the brain. Unfortunately, at a later age, that's the only option we have. We're now dependent on plates and screws to hold the reconstruction uh, where we put it. It's a great option, time-tested, um, but we prefer to intervene a little earlier if we have the opportunity. Post-operative management for metopic suture synostosis is very similar to sagittal synostosis or to the others. Um, we prefer, again, to be able to use a directed growth approach a less invasive operation at closer to six to seven months of age. If we're able to accomplish that, then recovery is faster and the growth is actually driven by the child as much as by the surgeon. Often we will use a post-operative helmet for metopic synostosis as well, just to help guide the growth of the skull. If your child gets to us a little later than that and we only can offer a cranial vault remodeling, well, then that, in that case, all of the structure is established in the operating room with plates and screws. You'll be in the hospital maybe a day longer, but there's no helmet molding therapy that's needed to follow.